Hey, getting close here, I'm going to show you a couple things where we can get into trouble on float height. And what you'll notice here is on this carburetor, open one of those gaskets too, there's a lip right here that when the service manual tells us to measure the float height, they tell us from the mating surface, okay? And that is meant without the gasket, okay? Look at this carburetor here and you see that there's no lip. So if I use a tool like this to check my float height, I could go right on across there not having any issues. But do you see where the problem is here? Yep. I can't get down to that actual mating surface to get a true measurement. So my choices are, if I'm going to use a tool like this, you want this light? Oh yeah, that's for you to If I'm gonna use this tool, I could go ahead and measure the depth, the depth here, and then subtract it from my preset measurement here so if my, if my float bowl setting is 12 millimeters, I would need to take three millimeters off. Can you imagine how far your float height would be off mm -hmm. if I'm supposed to be at 12, but I'm really actually gonna set it to what then? If I set this to 12, but I'm really adding three millimeter, I'd be at 15, yeah. 15 millimeter. I'd be a mile out in left field, wouldn't I? Mm -hmm. So that's the first example I wanna give is to show you guys how you can get into trouble there. Mm -hmm. Here's the next one. Now, listen to me on this. This is a, a save the day situation. Can you see how these bowl gaskets are really good and stuck on here? You just have to scrape those off. I'm gonna tell you right now, looking at the quality of this gasket and the fact that none of it transferred to the old carburetor, this gasket will probably seal all day long. It's not deteriorated or anything. I always recommend putting new gaskets on. You guys know that. You, we're gonna put new gaskets on here. But I want you to think about something before you get yourself into trouble. A lot of times, this gasket will stick in here, okay? And so it didn't stick to the carb, it didn't stick to the bowl. Like I said, a lot of times it will stick in here. Now, if you're dealing with older carburetors, you got to be able to ask yourself this. Now, pay attention to this, okay? Because this is where we get into trouble, and this is especially where. Your service manager is going to come back and go, oh, why didn't you grab me? Why didn't you, you know, ask for my 20 years of experience, right? If I'm working on an older Honda, Suzuki, cow, whatever, I don't care. And sometimes we've promised that workout, something's been overlooked. Or if you have a, a bowl gasket that has the complete ability to hold its seal, or maybe you're trying to just get a bike running just enough to see if it's worth fixing anymore, you don't want to take and just dig that old gasket out, completely ruining it, because then you're completely having to start over, aren't you? Is this gasket going to be really that easy to cut and make on your own? Mm -mm. You know, it's not possible, but would you agree it's time, time consuming times four? Yep. Mm -hmm. So what we do, kind of a trick out there, I learned this from a guy on the internet years ago. I wish I could tell you who it was. I don't remember because I, I learned it a long time ago. Is you leave the gasket in place. Now what this gentleman did, is he took and he had measured in his career numerous numerous different used gaskets and what he realized is that all these used gaskets had something in common is that the used gasket ended up being about a millimeter thick okay ended up being about a millimeter thick over and over so i started doing that and finding out that a bunch of these were a millimeter thick so then what the trick to do is is you take and let's say you're measuring a float height that's supposed to be at 12 millimeters, okay? You subtract the one millimeter for the thickness of the gasket. If you set the float height at what? If, it, if the spec calls for 12, right? Mm -hmm. 11. And I'm leaving an old gasket in there. It's a millimeter thick. I can't go all the way down. Wouldn't I set this to 11? Here's a picture from the whiteboard drawing in class, and you can see how the math is done in this with the float in place. I'd set it to 11. That's a way for us to leave these old gaskets in place, and it allows us to actually put a bike back into service without adding a whole bunch more cost or the possibility maybe it's even discontinued or not available uh, or you want to, like I said, make progress. So those are my tips there. When you don't have a flat surface, just measure it, subtract the difference, and then... Uh, the differences between uh, using an old gasket and putting new ones on where you don't have to worry about it at all.